Good evening everyone. You're about to watch our super trial video from this time last week, the 8th of August, which was from the Marshalls Arena, Milton Keynes. So, hope you enjoy the video. It's quite a long one, but uh, stick around to the end. I and mean, then thanks for watching. But now it was amazing. There's all the contenders wall. There's the winner's wall over there. This started off as a little dream. Oh, that's the And now we're in an arena. Three, two, one! Three, two, one! Bigger than your torso. Give me a picture. From? Milton Keynes. The Marshalls are in Milton Keynes. We have just pulled up because we put the wrong address into our sat nav, so it's brought us to the arena. Our hotel's about five miles away. As you can see, Joe's here, the brick jackets, and Tiff Plumbing, he's here somewhere. So this is the evening before, set just after seven o'clock. So we're just having to wander up and see what we can see. So this is it. This is our first time at the event. We missed it last year. And I'm Alex is walking with my stick and I'm limping along with the camera. So it looks like we're around the back here. See if we can talk to someone, see if we can get inside to have a look. I was about to say, maybe don't go through the air. So, we're going in for a sneak preview. Yeah, we were, we, we, yeah we're just going in to see Ash. We, we just asked for permission. You what, sorry? We just asked for permission, we're going to talk to Ash, we, we know him. Do you? Yeah, but we're attending tomorrow. Yeah, that guy's just asked for us. Okay, alright guys, thank, thank you. Thank you. Have you come by car? Yes. Oh, you better see me first. Then. Oh. There's Rob's van, got the new van. Brick jackets, that's a staple, he's, he's one of the first sponsors. Look at that Here's the grandstand. I expect everyone's going to be here late. I think they've got a silo in here. Yeah. And the upstairs, look. Oh. So that'll be packed tomorrow. I think that's the VIP up there. Right. Oh, look. Keystone. Fitzbrook. Where? Oh, yeah. Uh, Keystone, maybe. BT Engineering, look. They've got a couple of saws. Yeah. Very nice. Well, uh, well set up. Mm. I feel underdressed. Yeah. Um, oh, she's got this, look. It's a, it's a dustless extra, it's a dustless saw with no water. Oh, it right. has a vacuum underneath. Ah. Yeah, I've seen that's my only using that. That's cool. The what? The colour of the seats. Oh yeah. Colour coordinator for our channel. Um, oh look, still. They've got some big names here. Yeah. Clipper, that's the original saw. That's ah. the new electric version. Right. Oh, imagine how quiet that is compared to the BT saw. Mm. So you've got that that corner and you've got the BT. Yeah. What, what they've got one in, each, one in each corner. <laughs> See that line? We don't know how it works. Let's have a look at it tomorrow. It's uh, very fancy. Obviously, I, I'm, I'm on edge because I feel like we shouldn't be here. <laughs> we've, we've had permission. I just I feel like I'm on edge. I feel like I should be on edge. Alex feels like we sneaked in, but we did ask. Oh yeah, we, we asked, but it's, it's, I don't know. Seen We're just having a lap before I pinch one of uh, Joe's sweets. So. We're just having a lap before it gets busy tomorrow, because it's going to be late tomorrow. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, it gives us a little chance to... Uh... Um, there's Rob. Up on the scaff. Rob pal. Oh yeah, next to the beam lift to look. The L. The mini crane. Push it out a sec. 
1.2 ton. Dale. So these are to replace acros, aren't they? No. To work with acros. Strong ah, boys. Ah, replace strong boys. Mm -hmm. Not been going long, but it's really took off this this one. Oh, and it takes you to a skill builder? Yeah. I don't think skill builders are coming, which is a shame. Tiger bite, I wonder if Dave and Stevie might be here, because they're... They like, our, they like our story. Yeah, they're, they're big into the tiger bite, they might come and support them, what? Yeah. Two plus. They make the uh, hollow tape measures. I've met him. I was told Harrison, but six of the safety systems. Oh yeah. I met him at, um, at Warrington. I was chatting to him. Hey, you yeah, Alex. Alex, there you are. Alex, yeah. You're good. You must be so proud of this, mate. I'm oh, having a good bit of fun, isn't it? Jeez. I love the uh, tr uh, Trade Legends video as well. Podcast, yeah. Yeah, oh. yeah we were all day tomorrow, yeah. yeah. I enjoyed that because it, it, you got to find everything out. Yeah, there's, there's, there's so much more to it as well. Yeah. Loads to it. Yeah. And we were sat in the pub in Leamington Spa over two years ago, you were just talking about it. Yeah. Yeah. Could have pulled it off that bonk. year. That's bonkers. Then. And now we're here. There we go. There's the uh, there's the uh, main stage, if you will. All set up and ready. We've just been chatting with some of the uh, some of our pals. Nice to see everyone. It is, yeah. And like Dad was saying, we were you were chatting about this in the pub, weren't you? Over two and a half years ago, Ash was talking about this idea he had for a little bricklaying competition. Now look at it. In an arena. <laughs> It's nice being here in the calm before the storm as well. Yeah. I like the way it's set out with all the stands around the perimeter as well. Yeah. Everything's inside. Oh, it's yes. It's nice and cool. Lovely. Nothing's affected by the weather. <laughs> and there's the, there's the stage. There's yeah. the numbers. This is number 7 to 12. And then you've got one to six over that side. All the bricks are there ready. Yeah. With their big, big brick jackets on them. You've got the BT stands and the gated boards. And there's the bars really. And then you've got the, the silo. The silo inside the arena. It looks tiny. Oh definitely. It's definitely the biggest brick like event. And there's nothing like it for any other trades. No other trades do anything like this. And you said how massive it was after Warrington's. Yeah. So this year there's 12. There was two heats, southern and northern. Next year they're having 12 heats. My god. So if you are watching this and you fancy you go. We'll, um, we'll, actually, we'll, we'll go find a QR code and we'll, yeah. we'll film over it so people can have a look. Yeah. You know, it's uh, very impressive. I think that's the VIP area at the top. But there's plenty of cameras set up, so there will be time lapses happening. We'll try and get what footage we can. Yeah. Yeah. Very excited. We'll be able to do, we'll do another walk around and do a bit more B roll. Mm -hmm. I'm a bit more comfortable here now. Yeah. I'm not I spoke to a few people. Yeah. I'm not as a. Uh, on edge. You're all very welcome. I, mean, I was talking to Robert at, um, at Warrington. I'm Richard Stall. Big day tomorrow, we finally get to meet Richard. Yeah. Face to face. I like this little setup, obviously, because you can have all the different variations of your Fitzbrick. Oh, we'll, mm -hmm. get, we'll, get, we'll get him to demonstrate tomorrow. Yeah. Very nice. It's going to be nice to meet loads of people. We're going to meet loads of people tomorrow. It is, yeah. So. There you go, if you want to check out Fitzbrick's live products. Having another look around, we're getting our shopping list ready for tomorrow. We have a pre-shopping list, don't we? <laughs> yeah. As I said, we should have come in the van, because I'd love to take one of them home. As ours is currently broken. Yes. It's just died. Again. Yeah, these are the new battery mixers, and we've just found out that they've given three of these. As prizes. First, second, and the apprentice first place, because in the apprentice competition too. God. It's a big deal. Yeah. We should have a mixer. Yeah. Yeah, it's a uh, it's very well organised this place. So that's what a clean mixer looks like. Yeah. I've never seen a full orange one before. If we do ever get a new mixer, we won't throw the stand away this time because you know we're doing concreting. Yeah. Tip it in the barrel. We've got so much stick about getting. Hey, look, that's changed. That's on a new angle now. Oh yeah. 
I was just like, oh, right. Lovely show. I, I wasn't ready for the scale of this place. It's amazing. Is uh, the original sponsor? Yeah. Joe? I'm just, showing, I'm just showing them off a little bit and I'm just getting the scale of it all. It, it's, it looks big on, when you're looking at it, but when you're in here, well, is, look, it looks look at, massive. Look how small that silo looks. Yeah. We all know how big a silo is. It looks like that, that section there you get to have a go brick lane. Yeah. I might have a go tomorrow, you know. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Just been talking to Blade. Yes. Always a good laugh talking to Blade. He's talking horror. Always <laughs> nice to see him. He's the, he's the hype man. He's the one who's got everyone hyped with his um, his uh, reels and his Instagram. Too. So is this the apprentice one you said? I think so, yeah. Looks like it, being the size of it. Yeah, and then there's one to six. I'll tell you what, this is going to be so good for Brit Lane. Hopefully it'll get a lot of people, young kids, wanting to do it. Yeah. Because you've got to build 300,000 houses a year or something. You need people to do it. Yeah. After, hey, after a few years. I've got to say some nice, uh, nice brick and block work. Mine's a bit uh, thinner than that. Courtesy of Rodian. The Philly leather, yeah. Yeah, very nice uh, brickwork, and these are the new uh, spot board stands with chains on. Uh, that that one's just like mine. Well, that's what mine's like worn down to. Look at him, he's like a bloody bull in a china shop. You're a very in theme. Oh, all blue. <laughs> wow. up there on the bloody safe stand but it's five to nine so in an hour everyone's out and then we'll be ready for the big event I'm a bit undressed at the moment maybe cud zombie shit but we'll be dressed for the occasion tomorrow yeah it's uh, it's definitely it's definitely gonna be exciting we'll try and get we'll try and get as much as we can time lapse down film so we'll catch you catch you later I am buzzing for tomorrow. Really am. Your wallet's not. <laughs> no. Because I've got the credit card. Yeah. But yeah, so uh, we'll find our way back. We'll find our way to our hotel then. Yeah, let the sat nav take us. Yes. It's turned into a bit of a vlog this now, hasn't it? We have arrived. Mm -hmm. Let's go check in. I'm ready to get settled now. Yes. I enjoyed that one. That's, I can't be able to walk around that much. I know, yeah. Let's just stock up on tablets tomorrow. I don't feel too bad then. No? No. I'm glad the exercise. Yeah. Hey, I'm, I'm just going to get my steps in. Three zero four. Can't be far. Left. 
vor. Nice and close. That's brilliant, isn't it? I think we've we've cracked the code. Whenever we whenever we travel on holiday or anywhere, we have to go in twos. Yeah. Oh, Lovely stuff. There's your editing corner. Yes. Happy days. Oh. Happy days. Dad's got his little stick. Holder, and uh, we've uh, we're supplied up. Because we do like a little uh, vlog for the uh, Brickley Instagram, yeah. uh, in YouTube. Florida vlog, but we're not going to Florida. Yeah, it's a bathroom like. It's nice. Well, very nice. How is the inside of these weird doors that acts as a yeah bathroom door and a toilet? Door. Yeah, we always stay in home in the express because you get your breakfast included and it's cheaper than everybody else, isn't it? Yeah. Lovely stuff. Well, I've been up since uh, 26. I don't know if it's my sore leg or excitement. So um, I've just been editing that, so let's go and get, let's go and get this man up. Right, Wait. ready to go? Let's go. <laughs> born ready. <laughs> Let's go and get a breakfast of champions. Ready? Ring on the floor. Ready to go? Ready to go. Got half an hour to get there and it's a two minute drive so... Can I see? Don't get queued up. Aye. With the, uh, with the muggles. We snick, snuck in round the back last night now. We've got to use our tickets to stay in tonight. Alright, and we've got our batteries ready. Let's get going. Oh. So I'll take the stiffest then. I was about to uh, do a little dolly shot of him, uh, of him getting to the elevator, but he's, uh, he's left me. This way I can get my steps in. <laughs> You'll never hear me shut up about these steps now. So yeah, we've got half an hour to get there and it's a 10 minute trip, so we'll uh, see when we get there. Well, we're here in the daytime. <laughs> yeah, we're paying customers now. So we're going uh, to take a look and find this entrance and then we'll uh, see what we look like inside. So uh, we'll catch you inside. In full swing today. We're at the wrong entrance, trust us. Yeah, we ended up at the wrong. I think because we were in our brick lane gear. We were they, they must have yeah. thought we were competing. <laughs> but now we're attendees. So, yeah, so I think right now we're just waiting for some wristbands because um, at the moment it's just a bit up in the air. There we go, we just saw some pyrotechnics going on, some little sparks. Yeah, it's, it's a mad scene in full swing. We'll get more footage of him when we can. Right now, we're just in the, the waiting phase, waiting to see if we can get wristbands or something. Keep you updated. Bumping with Charlie. We're, we're, we're going to be a bit biased, aren't we? We're going to be wishing luck to everybody we see, aren't we? Well, you've got to have you got to be. Yeah. You can't spot one particular person. Well, our first thing, our first Good one day. of the day. Hello. Hey. Yeah. There we go. Just bundled up. Starting to pile up a bit now. I think yes, yeah, that is the VIP area up there. Yeah, we're just gonna go have a little wander around now. Now that we're officially allowed in. 
Hold it back. Come and have a go if you think you're hard enough. There you go. Scan that if you want to take part next year. Maybe up against Charlie or Ash. Yes, I'm, I'm sure you will be. They'll be back. There's Charlie setting up now. I feel, I feel, I, feel uh, I don't know, I've never been to something like this before. It's mad. No. So we're back. We've got uh, Charlie in lane one. Not sure where Ash is. Can't see Ash at the moment. And then you've got this guy from Mareka, I don't know what his name is. Let's find out where he is, he's the dark. Here we are, the Mind Your Head, Lighthouse. Take it, we do some heat treating process, we grind the edges on, then we have to harden the steel so we harden the blade. Um, we keep that soft for safety purposes, so yep. you don't want to hit no hard, steel, hard steel. Yep. Uh, you uh, and, that's, and then some of the heat treating process we so that's how we make our bolsters wow. in a nutshell. But it's quite dramatic, um, the forces and the temperatures that go into it, yeah. it's pretty extreme. Yeah. We've got line pins as well, so it's a line pin forging die. Oh wow. So this has actually been forged itself. This steel has been forged with a compressor. It's a lot heavier than it looks. Yeah. But here we place red hot steel there and that forges that shape. And that's the first stage of the process. You can have a feel that it's quite heavy. Jesus, it's like lead, isn't it? It's a special hardened forged tool steel. Wow. Because wow. think about the pressures. Yeah, that's doing, we can do probably 2,000 line pins in a day forged. They are, the one that goes up. They are the best line pins. Thank you very Use much. them since I was an apprentice. Well, welcome to come see us make it. Yeah. Uh, anytime. Just contact us, I think you've got the details. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. A bit different, but we are the last hand tool drop forwards left in the UK. Uh, there's no one else quite like us. No. I know, um, I know Bulldog used to make all the tools in Wigan, and yeah, that's, yeah, that's gone now. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Rich yeah. actually went over and saw that before they closed. And he loves forging, I love forging. Great shame they closed them. Yeah. But I think they had to for commercial reasons. I think it's assembled in Britain now, isn't it? Yeah. The steel comes from somewhere well, else. Make the yeah. But then they get all the forged. This is all this stuff about all the forged stuff. Yeah. yeah. Just showing us the bolster and the line pin forge then. Yeah, it looks like that's the axe head forge. It's very cool. It's cheap. But you want to put that down? It's very nice. <laughs> That is so much heavier but than it looks. If you from its Indian mental, mental. it's not very good. They don't have the same size. Cool. Footprint, one of the, the last... The only ones uh, don't they now, Tata? Yeah. And forges yeah. in, in Britain. Let's give you a little closer look at the, uh, the forge stuff. I love stuff like this, because it's like a uh, real life house name. It's an old green layer, and it's an old... Over there, that's having a chat with one of our viewers, Barry. I stole the trails. Is it worldwide? Yeah. And there's a fix. As I said, we've got a complimentary air freshness. I was at the Fitzbrick stand and he rang up so. Barry's just investing some air Fitzbrick profile corner box. He's one of the best channels. It's a good investment there. We're going to go see Richard a bit later on once we have a little walk around. I thought, I thought, we'll, uh, I thought gone, actually. have a chat with the main man. And you'll be familiar with uh, the Rhino stand, our pal Ali. Yes. Supplier of our current um, spot board and stands. stands. And a load of Bond stuff we bought. Yes, I have, I have the Bond trowel and I'm still waiting to use it. That's a busy stall, that. Yes. I look to do blue boards now. Get the brick, get the brick tongues. Oh yeah. See, that's what I want to put it adjustable. Yeah. If you made them adjustable, then you can get spot on. Get a bit of spread with that. Yeah, look, it's got a bit of a flex in it. It's bigger than your torso. Give me a picture. Take a, screen, take a screenshot from that. Yeah. Big, big it's, is oh. it magnetic? No. Oh. Oh. Ah. 
That's a trial. Let's go see what's going on. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I like how it uh, squares itself as well. It doesn't squares well. No. I mean, I've, I've used the since the 80s, don't get me wrong. They've always been good, but they, they have got the faults. Oh yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, this just does away with all that. This use, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Um, Another thing as well, you can put this up with one person because it holds itself up by this pin. It's also squared in by this pin as well. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's got a snapping capacity of three ton, that. If you can tighten that for three ton, <laughs> you must have a bionic arm as well as a bionic arm. Yeah, I haven't got that yet. No, I'm working on that bit. A little demonstration of Richard putting up the uh, yeah. one of these. Yeah. I, just, I was doing that when he fought. I miss you so much, man. Do it your own way. Yeah. I'll tell you what, I can get behind that. I said, I am stuck down to the front side. Yeah. And I just went, ah, no, no, no. Those went away. I went on jumping. I just started doing it. And that was it. It's just doing that jump in it. Yeah. But I mean, I, I've got to say, I have no, I have no business. No, no. no. And you spice up these boards. You start at the end, 48 weeks. Next, you start 48 weeks, and so on. All the way to the end of the board. And you'll see some of the competitors have already marked the table where they've got Mexies for the spot boards. So that'll be their spice up the weeks. And then once they've finished down there, they've finished off this next 48 to this end. They will then continue to do a stack of 98 bricks from this section through to the other. I think we're about to begin. Two, you over there, counters are there. You over here. Two, one. My bad. <laughs> Three, two, one. And we are up. Who can get the head start here? Underway. Oh, we'll uh, better look at the Fitzwick family products. And in, in that box is everything you need here. And you've seen ours. Uh, That's out of the invention, isn't it? That bit. There you go, external. Yeah. On each part. That's changed since last year, hasn't it? Yes. That's what's unique. That's, that is infinitely adjustable rather than that much of a. The this is the only intermediate where you don't have to cross the wall. We're getting a set. I'd like you all to join in for one minute silence to remember Richie Maxwell and that one minute silence is going to start in a couple of seconds. So I'm going to start the one minute silence so if we can take this time and use this opportunity to reflect on things that are going on in our own lives and if we feel like we need a bit of help and support we can absolutely sort that out and arrange that. 
but this minute's silence is to remember Richie, our colleague, our friend, and let's come together for one minute, please. Competition's officially started. So you are, they're, they're bloody fast, all of them. It's mad seeing it in person, just how fast they are. <laughs> it's, it's hard to like put into words, but like, I mean, you see it all on YouTube and everything, but then seeing it in real life, just, it's, it's quite mind-boggling. And just everything, it's like a whole, it's, it's, like, it's, just, it's, like, it's like an ant farm. You've got the you've got the bricklayers laying down the stuff. You've got the hard carriers and the labourers going round, loading them out, keeping the muck on. It's uh, it's th th this is this is poetry in motion. I'll also try and get uh, different angles from different spots if I can, if and where I can. So no, yeah, this is, uh, it's bonkers to see. I'll uh, try and get you some better angles in a bit. Get a nice little look at uh, 
Rob's uh, mic stand there. <laughs> yeah, you're being converted into a box section. Yes. I'm not getting rid of my Blakes though. It means I have four corners. Yeah. Can you build a pillow with profiles? Hey? Eh? Build a whole pillow with just profiles. He's, been, he's getting paid too much. He's a bottle of water in the foot. There's three courses down, man. So there's corners up, there's courses going down. Corners up. No deductions. That's neat work. We can get one of the uh, stalls closed before we buy it, five stuff of them. <laughs> and we need lunch as well. We're not getting enough goodie bags, you know. We're, everyone is getting goodie bags, we're not picking enough up. Just stopping for a lunch. What do you think so far? Hey, we've got the muffs on every night. It's not windy now, is it? <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. I tell you what, there's some bricks going down there. I think it's 40 bricks long. So that's 80 bricks per course. We've done about 600 bricks so far. Friggin' hell. Probably more. Eight, eight times. No, eight times nine. It's seven to seven to three bricks. Oh my god. He's got one brick and he's pulled the I've never done that in a day. Well I have. Not, 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 not very often. No. Yeah, it's uh many. Let's go. I'm ready for my tablets now. Yeah. There will be a new champion crowd. Who can push in for the last ten seconds? Seven, eight, seven, six, five, four. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for that. I know it's tough work getting you going, but you did have to pull through in the end. Give it up for Rod Stewart! Give it up for Rod Stewart! The old rhino board. If the bond board are on, put the rhino on. There you go. They finished. So we have to go in.
do all the jointing and the finishing touches, but the brick lane's out is finished. We're to them. We've gone from spot one. Right now, the judges are yeah, yeah. out there so just judging all the gauge levels. Yeah. 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 All that main aspect. As well. oh, and then it'll be deducted and the points in the millimeter. So. Yeah. Depending on where yeah. you are in precision, I mean, I've got unlimited supply. I still clean my own. Yeah, I'm getting a little shot of all the judges I'm going to go at the. Yeah, that's it, yeah. yeah. You get some great jackets to cover up. Yeah, yeah. Keep the boards in the van. Yeah, that's a snagging. I mean, if you're paying for well, 29 quid for something, you've got to look after it. Anyway, yeah. you, you wouldn't leave anything else, so. Like but Holy Senior, how do you think we've done there? How do you think your boy has proceeded and can he turn the win and make up the push here? Hopefully he can, yeah. We'll have to see, but yeah, I mean, I'm so proud of him by the way, but hopefully he's done, he's done the job. Done the job. It's so nice to see father and son, like, when you did the hog carry race, all he could talk about was how proud he was of you, and now you're doing the exact same thing. It just seems like there's that real love for each other there, and it really does shine through in the competition. It is. I mean, to be fair, me and Ashley don't work together. We have been together for years, since he was an apprentice, really, but when you look at us both, hey, we're looking very similar. Um, so, you know, got him laying that wall. They're about to start the jointing. Okay, I'm still waiting on the brilla. I'll take that back. Great layers. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Join up. 20 minutes, three layers, to make this wall look as neat as full. Remember, deductions are very, very prominent if your bricks are not made correctly. So joining up might get you out of trouble here as well. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give another round of applause for these bricklayers as they commence their join up. The work they have just been in for the last hour is immense. Most bricklayers would not be able to complete what these boys have done in a full eight hour shift. Incredible scenes. 20, min 20 minutes to joint. On average, like nearly 800 bricks. That's bonkers. That's a really flying angle of me, isn't it? Get him one as well. Process, yeah. <laughs> and then when you're done, take the bottom one out and stick it in your ass pocket. Undo the pressure on the top one and just let them come out here. Lift them off. 
piggyback it. Lift him up. Lift him onto that one and tighten it up again. And you've got a middle one as well for it. Like, just the... that, that's for your rake and cut. You can do two things at once. You can do your rake and cut on your half gable. So when I was getting there, I was marking my brick, doing my horizontals. Labour was cutting it. Stick it on. Mark the next one. Do my horizontals. So you can do the rake and cut. Yeah. So I think it's on this video here. Right Results. Let's build some suspense. Who's won? No idea. That's now up to me. Who's won? By 13. By 13's won. Oh. Who's won? Ash or Collison seems to be the go to. Who's won? Who's won? This one here, which is five. Hey, Fairfield. Fairfield, it's Fairfield one. Fairfield one, I imagine your fans are Fairfield then. So, the first little retirement job I gathered was the Oh, yeah, one of the things. Back to
Hey, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be all game here for the latest to find out who the winner is, the fastest regular in the UK. Now, this guy made 100 bricks more than he did last year, and after deductions, he's still 100 more than last year. So, 720 now, with deductions, total score 623 bricks. I'd like to put your hands together for a winner, Charlie Collins. Congratulations, Charlie. Well done. That's a nice shiny trail there. Look 
good shit, man. Good shit. There'll be a speedboat next year, like on a bullseye. That's if you want to get rid of him in this past build. He's just going out to back to mix it. Gorilla family of products. Being barren, place is deserted. <laughs> yeah, it looks like there's a little uh, meetup going on in the VIP area, but here we go. That's uh, that's a wrap. I'll tell you what, what a great event. That was uh, I don't know what I was like expecting, but whatever expectations I probably had, they would have been like met and beyond. <laughs> but now it was amazing. There's all the contenders wall. There's the winner's wall over there. There's Dad. Right, so it's the morning after the super trial. It's 20 to 7. The reason why we're up so early is because we're going to Thorpe Park today. And uh, I thought it was an hour away. It's actually an hour and a half away, so we need to get going. So we're going to dump the bags, go and get breakfast quick, and then head off. Hopefully the traffic isn't too bad on a Friday morning. The bad news is, after such a massive event, amazing event last night, Charlie's just posted on Instagram that um, him, and, him and Amy stayed last night, they were supposed to go home. So they stayed a few drinks with the lads and everybody with the Ford van had the vans done last night and broken into. So that's put a massive damper on it for everybody after such a massive day yesterday. And then um, before we left, Alex said, are we going in the van? I said, no. I said, when you stay at hotels down there, they tend to target hotels. And they did. They didn't. So, um, not the not the uh, not the nicest way we wanted to sign out our video, but uh, it was such a massive massive event. I'm just so glad we came down. Uh, we were, we uh, had a few drinks with um, 
Rich Fitzgerald and all his, his boys and uh, Andy, Bricklayers Worldwide. Yeah, and then we'll go to this. So, um, so I hope everybody who's had the fans broken into are okay and it's not. Yeah. Did it's it not too much to try and sort out. Yeah. Bloody shame. But um, it, it, it hasn't spoiled the fact that it was such a good event. So, um, signing out over and out. So, there we go. That's uh, our adventures at Super Trial wrapped up. But yeah, that was uh, quite the event. It certainly was. Massive, massive credit to Ash, Joe, and Jack for putting it all together. It was uh, it was just so well organised, great vibe, really great atmosphere, and um, I think I think everyone had a great time. Oh well, it was fantastic, and thanks to everyone who came over to say hi to us. Yes, and and got pictures with us. Sorry, we can't remember everyone's name. We should we should really ask people's name, write it down. But um, it's always nice to meet people who watch the channel. And pretty much everyone who came over said, how's the leg? So thanks for your concern about the leg. As you can see, we went shopping. We bought a few things, but this is one. Alex got us both a, a Super Trial t-shirt. Got me a Super Trial hat. So we're representing now. I'd like to give a special shout out to Richard from the Fitzbrick team. And um, get the names. We had um, Richard was the boss man. And we had Paul. And we had Tony. And then we had uh, Richard's three sons, Tom, Luke and Callum. So um, I've had to write them down because I'm really bad with names. But uh, we spent a long time with Richard on the stall and um, the new profiles are fantastic. And then um, he wouldn't let us go without going to the pub with them for a drink after. So um, thanks for all the drinks, Richard. You're very kind. Yes. And uh, also, um, I finally got to meet Andy Pally. We had a great chat with him. He was at the pub too. And um, yeah, it was a really good night. And also, one other was that it was uh, Rosie Construction. I didn't catch your first name, but it was great to meet you too. Yeah, thanks to everybody. And uh, we'll, we'll definitely be at the next one. I'm not competing, but um, obviously again. And if you want, if you guys want to compete, we're going to leave a little screenshot of the QR code so you to use. And one main thing is congratulations to Charlie. Yes, who won it? And then you've got Evan who came second, and just sneaked it in front of Ash Ash Mahoney. I know Ash was really. Gutted to, to get a third, but um, it was so close. I think it was one brick in it for the uh, total bricks laid. So it was a really, really close contest and um, really entertaining and just great for the trade. Definitely. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so thank you very much. Yeah, thanks for watching.